Following up on a promise made a year ago, Aptera Motors is making a massive comeback after more than a decade of struggling as a startup with a new attempt and a new design. The Aptera Solar Electric Vehicle, the world's first never charged vehicle with record-breaking range, is now accepting pre-orders. It is not a car but a futuristic-looking three-wheeled vehicle, which can be classified as a motorcycle or an auto cycle. The vehicle also claims to be extremely efficient, which is significant. Stay Stay tuned with us to find out all about this three-wheeled, no-charge vehicle. The Aptera was unveiled in late 2020 and uses a built-in solar array, as well as breakthroughs in lightweight structures, low-drag aerodynamics and cooling, material science, and manufacturing processes to deliver what the company claims is the most efficient vehicle ever made available to consumers. The vehicle is an evolution and revival of what Aptera hoped to build during its initial existence from 2016 to 2011. Aptera's first incarnation went bankrupt after failing to receive low-interest loans from the Department of Energy's Advanced Technology Vehicle Manufacturing Program. Production plans were resurrected in 2019, and the three-wheeler is now marketed as a never-charged vehicle, powered primarily by built-in solar panels. It still has a conventional plug, however. According to the company, this allows for a lower price by using fewer batteries rather than using more batteries and attempting to achieve economies of scale, as many automakers are doing. On a sunny day in California, the, the three solar wheeler's capacity is 700 watts, allowing it to harvest 4.4 kilowatt hours of energy per day. Aptera claims that optional solar panels covering the rear hatch enable up to 40 miles of range per day in those conditions. With that efficiency, the car would have an incredible range on the same batteries that are used in regular EV sedans. The Aptera claims 250 miles on a small battery like that found in an older Leaf, 1,000 miles on a charge with a 100 kilowatt hour battery, like that found in a Tesla Model X. But according to reports, a 400 mile version has been the most popular among reservation holders so far. The 1,000 miles is actually a waste of range, don't you think? As no one is likely to drive more than 600 miles in a day without tiring. But it does open up the possibility of road trips in remote locations not otherwise suitable for EVs. That much battery serves another purpose, which we'll discuss later. To accomplish this, the vehicle is designed as a two-seater with limited cargo space, no room for children, and a small space suitable for a dog. That's fine. A large portion of the market consists of cars that never use the back seat to transport passengers, though this would not compete in the family primary car market. The announced price, $26,000 for a base model with a range of 250 miles to over $50,000 with a full set of solar panels and a few key options, is not out of reach for EV buyers. The company actually claims to have received over 10,000 orders for the $25,900 three-wheeler. Using 100 watt-hour per mile is significant for those who want to be environmentally conscious in their transportation. Driving alone in this vehicle consumes less energy than the world's most efficient public transportation systems. Driving with two people beats almost everything except electric scooters. The three-wheeled configuration was chosen for its efficiency, yielding a drag coefficient of 0.13. It also means that the Aptera stands out from the crowd, which can be both a benefit and a disadvantage. Aptera used axial flux in-wheel motors which simplify packaging and provide 30% more regenerative braking than induction motors, which is due to the magnets being placed further away from the point of rotation which provides more leverage. In addition, the company has teased a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of as little as 3.5 seconds. Because of the efficiency, the vehicle will recover miles faster when charging at the same rate as other cars. According to Aptera, a 50 kilowatt DC fast charging station would allow for a gain of 500 miles of range in an hour, although almost all systems slow down charging significantly when they reach more than half full. Newer EVs can charge at 250 to 350 kilowatts and thus achieve the same rate. It isn't clear whether the Aptera pack will support this. This also implies that charging from standard 120 volt plugs is much more feasible, as it can add 130 or more miles in a typical night, which is sufficient for almost anyone. To achieve that level of efficiency, 
in range, you will have to give up a surprisingly small number of things. The vehicle is small and light, and Aptera claims it will pass all crash tests when completed. That's good, but in a collision with a heavy vehicle, physics will put the passengers in a light vehicle at a disadvantage. Now to the never charge feature we have been waiting for. Aptera promotes their solar charging feature even more with all of the great specs listed above. Every car comes standard with a basic 300 watt roof panel. For $900, you can add panels to the hood and back to increase the power to 700 watts. Aptera claims that with this full configuration, you can gain up to 48 miles per day of range with solar charging, which equates to about 10,000 miles per year in San Francisco or 7,500 miles per year in Boston. Because the average driver only travels about 12,000 miles per year in a new car, they believe that many drivers could get all of their miles from the sun and have a fully solar-powered car that never needs to be plugged in. That appeals to a lot of potential buyers. How does the never charge feature work, you may ask? Well, Aptera does not claim to have created a perpetual motion machine or that three-wheeled vehicle's battery will never run out of power. Rather, the company claims in a press release that the vehicle has an incredible 1,000 mile range per charge, with the solar panels adding 45 miles of range on sunny days. Based on the assumption that the average driver will travel less than that, the Aptera could potentially last for a long time without stopping at a real charging station. Aptera also recently took to social media to highlight a recent track test visit, displaying three sleek-looking alpha models and a beta model that is still in production. The three alpha models stand up from the bare-bones look of the beta, which Aptera debuted on Christmas Day 2021. The three alpha models were all released separately over the past year, beginning with the all-black Aptera Noir and a northern summer, followed by the all-white Aptera Soul, which the company drove in June and the Aptera Luna in October 2021. Aptera's social media team recently took one of their alpha models on a grocery run, highlighting the relatively large boot space available. According to Jason Hill, Aptera's vehicle designer, the beta version will look similar to Aptera's alpha models, despite how it appears in the videos and photos shown at the test track. We have improved packaging and comfort, as well as several interior design refinements, including seating, door panel, and instrument panel. Hill said in a recent in-house Q&A. The same design theme has evolved into production-level intent. Aptera co-founder Chris Anthony recently told Electrek that for the next few months, all we're going to have that's pretty are the alphas. After that, we'll have completed all of the betas for the development vehicles to send to suppliers, and we'll probably work on a couple of pretty versions of that into next year to show people. The problem is that the beta's version's sole purpose is to validate production parts. So once we've validated all of the production parts in a beta, it'll be a pre-production vehicle. Putting together enough vehicles for press and ride and drives should then be simple. But that won't happen until the end of first quarter or second quarter of next year. Aptera plans to launch a final development vehicle before the end of 2021, with production beginning in 2022. And we are excited to see the end result because, because we believe that all electric car drivers are vastly superior to their fossil cousins. But this will be the champion. What do you think about the Aptera vehicle? Do you think the range is too high? Let us know in the comments section below. What do you think about the Aptera vehicle? And we hope you enjoy this video. Do not forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more.